percent a good trade, you jackass. Good morning, Kick Nation. Welcome to another episode of the Top 10 Worst Trades of the Week on the Tops Kick Act. I'm T-Bone. You're in the HQ. Welcome, guys. I appreciate all of you. Look, another video is going to be out today. I played a Capone at FIFA 16. His name was Sir Rahim on Kick. All right, so hit him up. Good lad, young kid, and yes, he won. All right, but don't judge me. I'm getting better. It wasn't as bad as Chubik, and the goal is to eventually beat Chubik. Also today, I want to throw a shout out to Deadpool. This is an old ass t-shirt, but I have true Deadpool feelings. I love the guy. I think uh, Ryan Reynolds is going to do an amazing job, so make sure you check that movie out. Let's get in the top 10 worst trades of the week on the Tops Kick app. Number 10. Way to start the week out, Ryan. You're a true dickbag. First of all, Zuma gets hurt, and then you try to trade him for two on-forms. And not just any two on-forms, amazing on-forms and Martial and Ozil. Here's the problem I have. First of all, whoever you traded to was way too nice. He gave you three stars. So at this point, you should be kissing his hairy beanbag. But the other problem is this. You have no integrity. You had to know he was hurt. It was some of the biggest news coming out of the BPL weekend, and it's just irritating to get this shit. Number nine. You may love Chelsea, but you hate your fellow traders. You're given a 2.2 for a 2.8 boost cards. That's what you're given, straight away. All right, the odds were different on these cards for a reason. And based on those odds, you had to know, you had to be smart enough to know at 1,496 trades that Bellerin was going to be a lot lower count. Now, you sent before they sold out. They've now sold out. Bellerin at 360, Monreal at 1,219 cards. This trade was just an utter dick move on your part and you need to do fucking better all right patrick way to take a good irish name and shit all over it you want to give a de gea card for a henderson relic sig boost card doesn't make any fucking sense you've had 350 trades to figure this the fuck out and this is the kind of offer you make man you deserve to be bitch slap number seven it was weird seeing this trade because B Smith125 is actually a pretty cool cat. He's got four stars, but this trade sucks dick. Hey, look, you got a Defoe Relic, congratulations, but you're asking for version 2 Erickson Silver Game Changer. And look, man, I'm not going to put you on blast, but I'm going to tell you one last fucking time. Respect the Game Changer! Number six. The only reason you weren't higher is because you're newer to the game, but your fucking common sense should tell you, man, I have 114 trades and only two stars. I wonder why that is. Because anytime new base comes out, you're that asswad that fucking wants the world for it. Really? An on-form X and a relic SIG boost for a fucking common base? Dickbag! Number five. Look, I'm not going to lie. Goalkeepers can make the difference in a game-changer chase. No doubt about it. However, what you're doing is you're asking to give a regular on-form Gomez for an on-form XPVA. What the fuck are you thinking? This dude has been scoring in bunches as a defender. Mad, mad points. Four by points to your three by points, not to mention card count. You're an asshole. This makes you an asshole. Reevaluate your trades. <laughs> Yo, Lou. Wait, you're not Lucy Lou, are you? Because I don't want to offend you, that's for sure. Look, Lou, I'm telling you right now, you, I already went over the Monreal card earlier, and now you're given a bunch of freestyles to go with that Monreal card for the on-form, on-form X Lewandowski set. Are you fucking kidding me? What you're offering is not even worth an on-form, much less a lower count on-form in Lewandowski, much less the bolt, the X, the 4 by boost. What the fuck are you thinking? Like, seriously, 135 trades, I'm going to forgive you a little bit, but damn, dick move. Hey, congratulations, Hamad Qureshi. Look, you made it to the top three. That's the good news. The bad news is it's because you're an asshole. You have over 500 trades, yet you think a Vardy Mint is worth all that loot. What's wrong, man? Tell me what's wrong. Huh? Did someone kick your dog? Did someone piss in your post toasties? Like, what the fuck happened to where you felt like you needed to send this fucking trade out? Like, I don't know. It makes me sad as a human, to be honest. I don't even want to say your name. You've had over 2,200 trades and you're fucking garbage. And let me tell you why. And another thing too. Just because you're not the number one jackass doesn't mean it makes you any less of one. 
Process of elimination. I'm going to play that game with you, okay? You got a silver game changer on your side. We got a silver game changer on that side. Cross them out. We got a VIP on one side. Got a VIP sig on the other side. Cross those out. All right. We got a green game changer and a red game changer. All right. Well, we'll throw in that thousand plus count um, mint Lukaku. We'll say it's a bit of an overpay. So now what do you have left? You have a mint card. One single mint card for a gold game changer derby Fabregas. That's what makes you a dick. Now, number one. I'll tell you what, this trade has me fired up. How can you say that's Southern hospitality? Dog fan. Georgia dog fan. First you bend someone over, and then you give them a little ass to mouth. ATM. Are you fucking kidding me? Transfer cards? And a high purple to pay? Seriously? What do you have, six of them yourself? But you want a gold game changer alley. Nah, man, what you need is a case of motherfucking chin nuts. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Top 10 Worst Trades of the Week on the Top's Kick app. Now, a couple other announcements. First of all, Aviation Nation. I got to give a shout out to this guy. So this is what happened. Yesterday, um, Dennis O knows this, I was looking for the Ozil and the Drew Duo Sigs. Um, I wasn't going to pay 20 bucks for the bundle. I'm trying to minimize my spending right now. But I was looking for them, and I was offering amazing trades. And this one guy kind of got tangled up with me and he's just like all right well he kept telling me to add and i kept adding he's like well add font and we got a deal i added font and he never fucking accepted the trade left a bad bad taste in my mouth got up this morning though in aviation nation i see that he's offering the duo sigs up so i sent him a solid offer what i thought was a solid offer you know what he told me i'm offering too much he told me to remove it on form he threw in some base uh arsenal dupes that he wanted but pulled a complete top banana move on me. Freaked me out. Freaked me the fuck out. Because that's what the app should be about. Helping each other. You know, and I, I thought that that was amazing. I thought it deserved a shout out. He didn't ask for anything. He didn't ask for a shout out. Aviation Nation, if you guys see him, hit him up. Hit him up. Great guy. That's what the community is supposed to be about. Also, my other announcement is this, and it's a little bit sad. Uh, Kevin Randleman. I'm a big MMA guy. Uh, you guys know that. I've covered MMA before. I've met many, many fighters. Never had the opportunity to meet Kevin Randleman. And uh, he left us yesterday at the age of 44. Um, it kind of hits home because he's younger than I am, you know. And uh, But he's such a great fighter. He was a legend. A legend. I believe he came from the Ohio State camp. Uh, so there's not really much more to say about that except for you will be missed rest in peace and god bless all right hey until my next episode t-bone out thank you for watching you are amazing